welcome to Anton's TV. My name is Jack Duxbury. That's the Maltese Falcon, and that's Oz. Mm. And Andy Mack from Akai came in recently and brought something that's not even out yet, and the Falcon can fly it to me. It's the Akai Mini Play Mark III. Word on the street is it's got a little speaker in it with some sounds, so let's plug it in, listen to the first few sounds, and then we're going to go take it out on our little break to Subway. We'll look in the box. Let's see what's in the box. We've got stuff. We've got an old school printer style USB cable, and we've got this. Share So a little screen on it, and then all importantly, this little speaker. And it's got sounds in it. Let's plug it in. Just plugged it in and heard a few sounds, and I'm pretty hyped. The guys are pretty hyped as well. There's some exciting things to come. But why are we even looking at this product as something that might be interesting? Because MIDI controllers, we all know what they do, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the first one I've seen that takes that classic Akai Mini format, which is, I think, the most popular MIDI controller in the world. Some crazy stat on that. And they've done something that I spoke about for many years, which is they've included internal sounds. Why, when, hey, I'm going to hook up to my MacBook or my computer and I'm going to use all my own sounds anyway. I don't need that. But what if your computer dies or it's getting a new battery like the Falcons and uh, or your computer takes ages to turn on and you just want that little moment of inspiration before then? That's where I think internal sounds are so handy. So let's hear the first few. This is uh, the first one called Grand Piano. And I'll talk you to you about how I feel the keys. It's very small, so I'm not sure what I'm going to play. And we've got an octave switch. Sounds like a piano. What's exciting? I'll do a few more real sounds. Let's have a look. Electric grand. Let's go up the octave. Now, you're probably seeing I'm overstretching as to what I should be playing on this. Really, it's more like, oh, yeah, oh, that's a dope beat, bro. And I'm going to go like, it and put RC20 on it. I get it. <laughs> so how does it feel? It's surprisingly robust. At this point in time, why would you believe me? You might want to believe a younger person who's cooler. So let's talk to the Falcon about it. Come touch it and tell us what you think. OK, we just mic'd up the Falcon. Play it, flick through the sounds. It gives the opinion of a young person. OK, here we go. It's not terrible. Uh, the, considering the size, the, the action is actually all right. And the sounds are, are decent. Keys yeah, go, yeah, yeah. Right? considering, considering, like. Now, I haven't, I did touch these, you haven't seen this, but have a little feel of the pads, tell us what you think. Oh, here we go. Did they change with the patch? Let's have a listen. No. Hey. I'm a young person from Malta, making the beat that I don't want to. <laughs> cool. It's good, right? It's good. Yeah, it's and good. Well, the next bit is, I haven't got a mic on, is that we're a bit hungry. Apparently, this runs for 14 hours on some batteries. And I want to take it to our favourite place to demo things like this, which is Subway, so I can combine my hunger and test out the battery power, and we'll see you in Subway. Hello, and welcome to my favourite place in the world, which is Subway in Guildford. I spend most of my time here. The Falcon and I come here all the time, and now Oz has joined us for another angle. <laughs> and forgive them, they're on their phones. It's my idea, because I was like, let's not waste too much time. 
bringing out the posh cameras for something that's a real world test, which is the fact that I hear lots of kids, they want to make beats, and they want to make beats on the street, right? And this keyboard has built-in sounds. So I'm going to flick the battery on. Amazing as well, it came with batteries, so massive plus for Akai. 14 hours, and only... Let's have a look about. I'm a bit greasy from a subway. Only four batteries as well, so it's 14 hours. I just like the idea that you could probably leave them in there and never use them. And for this occasion where you're like, I'm in Subway and I need to make a beat. So I'm going to turn the speaker up and let's hear if you can hear the drums. So at the moment, we're being drowned out by the perpetual sound of Subway Radio, which is again another one of my aspirations. I want to get on the Subway Radio. So we're going to have a flick, internal sounds. Right, this is a bit more appropriate of a jam along, so can we hear this? I can hear that. Can you hear that, Falcon? Yeah, I can hear that. I, I mean, it's pretty that. loud in here. It is. We'll do some other stuff, maybe some moody stuff down by the river. You know, like I'm in a video for my first band. Hi guys, post Subway, you probably saw some dope sweeps of me just chilling, holding my cookies, looking like a fat boy, straddling bollards. But what we're going to do is, it's a bit quieter here, we're down by the river. I'm on the perfect place to demo this, which is a bench. I can only describe that there's a lot of paraphernalia around here. Obviously, this is where people are making beats and making memories. So uh, let's hear what the drums sound like and see if we can get... Uh, so, flick through some of the sets. This is an 808. So I'm not probably going to wake up any of the vagrants that are around here with that. Let's see if we... It's enough. Let's hear the internal sounds again. Let's go drums, keys, and let's find something like the acoustic guitar. Now that, I can tell, if you look over there, look, we've got a little bit of distractor. And we got it. I think that's proof that this is pretty loud. We've gone cross canal with that volume and uh, high praise to Akai. So, and we're back in the room. Hopefully that gave you a silly take on the effectiveness of a speaker like this in the wild. But back in the studio again, I think it's really nice to just even if you're waiting for your computer to turn on that you can hear some sounds. And also when we plugged it back in here with the speakers and I can hear it properly, check this out. We've got a piano sample. Very acceptable piano sample. That's the first patch, but these knobs are already pre-assigned. Check it out. So I've got the filter with resonance. Pretty cool, we can crank the reverb. And chorus. Dig it. Now let's check some other features over here. Let's check the pitch bend. Let's see if we can find some pitch bendy stuff. Oh yeah. Let's have a look. Reed organ, acoustic guitar, uh, electric guitar. Oh, let's overdrive. <laughs> oh, so it's up and down. So you're getting the feeling they're kind of general MIDI sounds, but with some hands-on control to get you in a pinch. But also, let's do some... We'll say some fun stuff at the end with general MIDI, because there's always fun in general MIDI. 
Back to drums, one of the things I love about these small controllers is the built-in note repeat. And you think, well, I've got it in the door, but let's see if I can demonstrate that. One other good thing is full level. When you're doing drums, I want those full level, so I can just hit full level. And we can demonstrate that I've got it plugged into Logic here. You can see those values are coming out differently if I hit full level every time, one, two, seven. Saves me having to tidy it up afterwards, so that's really cool. And on the note repeat, if I find a hi-hat. There we go. If I wanted to, I can hit note repeat and then hold that down and get some hats going. And we can trap it up. Yay! That's handy. Again, all of that gets recorded into the sequencer, which is fabulous. So you can maybe do some smooth stuff. I won't do it. I'm not a trap aficionado by any means. I promise some fun sounds. Check this out. Patch 078, the Shakuhachi, which you might know from Peter Gabriel stuff. <laughs> Patch 030, overdriven guitar. Hey. Interestingly on here, there's some stuff that definitely doesn't sound like general MIDI to me. This is pad seven, actually patch 095 called Halo. Check it out. One of the fun things about general MIDI is that we get these odd little noises at the end. Check it out. One, two, four, bird tweet. <whistles> Telephone ring. Fire. Yeah, helicopter. <laughs> yell it, yell it. Applause. <laughs> Thank you. That's fine. You don't have to. You don't have to. Don't worry, it's fine. It's cool. Gunshot. Very sorry. Just guy in a tweed outfit. And that's some of the fun you can have with General MIDI. Lastly, just to let you know, we've got these in stock here at Anderton's. If you like what we're doing, consider liking, subscribing. If you don't, let us know from the hay. I know it's been a bit of a silly video, but we just wanted to get out. It's a sunny day. Forgive us. We went out there. Thanks again to Andy Mack from Akai for letting us have a go on it. It's an interesting decision. I don't know what price it's going to be. Check the links below. But you might want to just spend a bit. I'm presuming it's going to be a bit more than the normal Akai Mini. You might want to spend a bit more on it, uh, especially if you're a doorless jammer. And one way that I've just plugged it in, I've got some of my favourite software instruments here. And I thought the piano layered up quite well with it. So I've got some stuff from Sound Dust and Spitfire Audio. And if I find a piano patch, I can jam along with it. Thanks for watching.